So today we are going to start the new topic as a superposition of waves. That is your chapter number six. Now previously we have seen oscillation topic, and in that oscillation we have seen the simple harmonic motion. We have seen two types of simple harmonic motion: linear simple harmonic motion, as well as we have seen angular type of. Linear oscillation means particle is moving along a straight line in a two and four position, and angular oscillation means particle is moving along a curved line two and four. That is nothing but as your angular oscillation. And now, using that oscillation concept, here we are going to consider as a principle superposition of waves. Now, this superposition of waves. Under the superposition of waves, what we are going to see? First thing is nothing but we are going to see the principle of superposition of waves that we are going to see as a principle of superposition of waves that we are going to see. जो भी recording stops है लगा आपको principle of superposition of waves under this principle of superposition of waves in introduction part we are going to see the different types of waves whatever up till now we have studied so in 11 science we have studied the mechanical waves these mechanical waves require certain media for the propagation and in 11 science you have seen these types of these mechanical waves that two types of mechanical waves we have seen one is nothing but as your transverse wave and the another type of wave is nothing but you have seen as a longitudinal wave now in transverse wave we have seen the wave which will get set up along the length of the string that is the example of transverse wave and the longitudinal wave is nothing but as your sound wave So this sound waves also you have seen detail in math, and in eleven science regarding this sound waves, we have seen characteristics of sound waves. Then also we have seen the echo reverberation produced by that sound waves. Then what is the expression for velocity of sound waves? On what factor velocity of sound waves depend? That all part we have seen in the eleven. Then also we have seen the electromagnetic waves. these electromagnetic waves does not require any medium for the propagation so there is no requirement of medium for the propagation of waves and therefore this electromagnetic waves are to be called as a non mechanical waves and in that from this electromagnetic waves we have seen the spectrum of electromagnetic waves and in the spectrum of electromagnetic waves we have seen infrared waves we have seen ultraviolet rays then also we have seen as visible rays then microwaves radio waves all are x rays all are nothing but your electromagnetic waves then now we have also come across with this light waves your light waves electromagnetic waves are propagating through a medium with a velocity equivalent to light so velocity of light waves when it will propagate through the medium is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second so that primary information about light waves we have seen and now i am going to explain the example of this water waves this water waves gives us the type of one of the waves which is to be called as your progressive wave now how the water waves will get generated we can consider a very simple example for this generation of this water waves so suppose i have taken 
some water container here. In this water container, we have filled the water up till certain time. So your water surface is at rest position. And inside this rest surface of the water surface, if I drop a stone, so here the stone is dropped with certain potential energy. So with certain potential energy, when stone will get dropped, so at this dropping point, the potential energy will be transferred to the steady water surface. And when that potential energy will be received by the point of the water surface, so as soon as potential energy will be received by this water particle at point O, that water particle will start vibrating. So it will vibrate to and fro. When this water particle will vibrate to and fro, during its vibration, this particle transfers its energy to the neighboring particle. To the left hand side as well as to the right hand side. So energy will get transferred to the neighboring particle as well as it will get transferred to the for and to and fro particle. And when that energy will get transferred, the wave will get set up for this water surface. So in that manner, you will get the generation of water waves. So that water wave will get set up over this water surface. But after some time, our observation is that when we are dropping the stone, so at that instant, water wave will generate. And after some time, again, we will get the steady surface. Means what? This water through which your water waves are propagating will act as a medium. And through that medium, when water waves get propagated, after some time, the medium again comes back to its rest position, that is the initial position. Means this water medium has a property of elasticity. And already we have seen in 11 science, that is when mechanical waves are propagating through a medium, that medium should possess three properties. That medium should be elastic, so here is the elastic medium. Medium should possess inertia. Here, medium possess inertia. When waves will get passed out, the water medium again come back to the rest position. Means medium has a property of inertia. And the third thing is nothing but that medium will offer a less resistance. So medium is going to be offer less resistance. So medium is offering a less resistance through which that wave is going to be propagated. And these are the three properties through which these waves are going to be traveled. So that is nothing but angular water waves. So when water waves will get set up, so that water wave, due to that water wave, the particle will vibrate to and fro. And the wave will get set up continuously along a forward direction. And during that propagation of wave, there is a transfer of energy. So energy will get transferred. So when wave is propagating, there is a transfer of energy, but there is no transfer of matter. Matter is not transferring from one point to another point, but the energy is going to be transferred from one point to another. And that type of waves are to be called as a progressive wave. So from this word itself, as a progressive, progressive means your mind, what is the meaning of progressive? What do you say that? I have progressed in physics in the term and exam as compared to the unit test. What is the meaning? Suppose in the unit test, I am getting 10 marks out of 25. But in term and exam, out of 50, I am getting 30. Means I have made certain progress in the subject and the physics. Means I have increased my level of knowledge in the forward direction. That is the progress. So progressive wave is what? The wave which will get propagated through a medium in a progressive direction. Through a vibration. So the particles are vibrating and through that vibration the wave is going to be propagated in the progressive direction. During that case there is a transfer of energy from one point to 
that type of way is to be called as your progressive wave. So your progressive wave is nothing but the disturbance which will produce in the medium and that wave, that disturbance will be traveled in the given direction. So that is nothing but as your progressive wave. Now your sound wave is also a progressive wave. Now, when sound wave is propagating, you are knowing that there is alternate compressions and refraction. Compression means what? The particle region will get compressed. This volume will get reduced. This pressure will go on increasing. Refraction means particles are well separated. This volume occupied is more. So pressure will go on decreasing. So when sound wave is propagating to a medium, there is a change of pressure and volume region to region and therefore that sound wave is to be called as a pressure wave. So that pressure wave or sound wave is propagating that is always in the forward direction. So it is also to be called as your progressive wave. Clear? So this is nothing but your concept of progressive wave. Now we can consider the equation of that progressive wave. How that progressive wave will get represented. So your progressive wave equation this progressive wave equation can be represented along the displacement is along the y-axis. So the displacement along the y-axis is equal to A. Is A is nothing but the amplitude into sine into bracket. Here I can say that Kx minus omega. Now just now I have drawn here one diagram where I have shown the water gates. And in that example I have said that when stone is dropped, the wave will get set up and in that wave, the particles of water medium vibrate up and down. And when they are vibrating up and down, the sine wave will get formed. Therefore, in the equation, there is a term as a sine. In bracket, there are two terms. X is a displacement and this K, K is to be called as a propagation constant. This value of this propagation constant is nothing but 2 pi X upon, yeah, sorry, 2 pi upon the lambda is nothing but the yeah. and this omega omega is nothing but the angular frequency which will be represented as a 2 pi upon capital means if i substitute this value of a and omega what i am getting y is equal to a sine in bracket twice pi x upon lambda minus twice pi small t upon so here I can take this 2 pi factor as a common out of the bracket. So inside the bracket what is remaining? X upon lambda minus small t upon and this is to be called as a standard form of equation of a progressive. So this equation is very important. You have to remember this equation carefully. By that equation, we have to solve the numerical. Right? So, how we are getting? Just concentrate. I have shown the example of water waves. When water waves are set up, your particles are vibrating up and down. Means displacement of particle is up and down, means along y axis. Therefore, displacement is along y axis. It is moving up with certain amplitude. So, amplitude A. And when that wave is propagating, it looks like the sine wave. So there is a sine term. In bracket, kx minus omega t, where k is called as a propagation constant, which is equal to twice pi upon And omega, omega is nothing but the angular frequency, which is equal to twice pi upon And whenever I am substituting value of k and omega in the equation, I will get a standard form of progressive what is that? Y is equal to A sine 2 pi in bracket X upon lambda minus small t upon and this is to be called as your standard form of progressive. Got it? And now from this equation, standard form of progressive wave, now we are going to see the properties of progressive wave. Now there are a number of properties. Now while remembering that property, how you can re 
remember the properties of progressive wave for that purpose you have to remember this diagram this is the progressive wave so here displacement of that progressive wave is along y axis and it is always for propagate in the forward direction along the time axis so this will represent as your progressive wave and now from this diagram now you have to remember the number of properties of this progressive wave now what that first property just concentrate here this is the mean position of the particle your particle is moving in the first loop here in the first loop particle is moving in the upward direction from the mean position and in the second loop the particle is moving in the downward direction from the mean position means in progressive wave what we can say that each particle in the medium will execute same type of vibration particle will always vibrate about the mean position up and down along with the mean position that is the first property and when it is moving up and down means what it is performing a simple harmonic motion so that is the first property that is every particle in the medium will execute same type of vibration about the mean position and that particle is performing a simple harmonic motion that is the first property in that second property what we can say that all particles are vibrating with same amplitude period and frequency now see here whenever i am considering this first part so here amplitude here is the amplitude here is the amplitude so all particles are performing a section with same amplitude period and frequency then if i am considering the phase of the particle so phase of the particle means angle so let's consider now here i have drawn this if i drawn with respect to phase angle as theta so this angle i am going to call zero and this phase angle i can call it as here as your pi by 2 and this angle is pi so if we concentrate in the first loop so when the particle is located at o point its phase angle is zero but if i am saying particle at p point its phase angle is nothing but as a right means every particle during its vibration changes its phase that is nothing but the next property that is the phase changes from particle to particle then when wave is propagating through a medium no particle of the medium will remain at the rest position either it is moving in the upward direction or it is moving in the downward direction no particle will be at the rest position then the particle has maximum velocity as it is performing as a jump as every particle of the medium is performing as a jump means the par when particle will be at mean position at that time its velocity is maximum and when that particle will go to extreme position extreme position is this at that time its velocity will become zero at extreme position its acceleration will become maximum and when this wave is propagating i have given the example in case of your water waves when water waves are generated the stone is dropped on the steady water surface so we are dropping the stone means my hands are providing a potential energy to the stone and with that potential energy the stone will strike the steady water surface and stone impart its potential energy to the water surface so water surface absorb that potential energy and start vibrating means what happens here energy will get transferred from point to point so this is the very much important property of the progressive wave that is in progressive wave the energy will get transferred from particle to particle of the medium next thing when this wave is propagating through a medium at that time the velocity of that particle will depends on the property of the medium so if you are remembering from 11 seconds in 11 seconds we have seen that is the velocity of wave is dependent on property of the medium medium property means what elastic property 
that is if your medium is solid so elastic constant possessed by the medium is nothing but the young moment if your wave will be propagating through a liquid so for that liquid what is the bulk modulus on that the velocity is different so that's why there is a property that is when progressive wave is propagating through a medium the velocity by which particles of the medium are vibrating are dependent on the medium property and next property is you know this progressive wave is a type of mechanical wave why because it requires a medium and whenever any wave requires a medium for its propagation that is to be called as your mechanical waves and that mechanical waves are of two types which already i have told you that is the transfer wave and the another is nothing but the longitudinal what is transfer wave that transfer wave in which this is nothing but the example of transfer wave in transfer wave particles of the medium vibrate perpendicularly up and down perpendicular to the direction of propagation that is the transfer wave and when particles of the medium are vibrating parallel to the direction of propagation that is the example of your sound wave alternate compressions and reactions compression means what the particles are moving to and fro and propagation direction is also in the forward direction so direction of propagation and direction of vibration of the particles are parallel and that is nothing but as your longitudinal so that is also your one of the property of your progressive wave clear your transfer waves can propagate through all three types of medium that is solid liquid and gas transfer wave can pass through solid it can pass through a liquid or you can say as a fluid so in that manner we can study about this progressive wave clear so these are the number of properties of the progressive wave getting okay. any doubt here okay now afterward now we are going to concentrate about the topic which is to be called as a reflection of waves now in that reflection of waves the point is that we are going to see the reflection of transfer wave it is very simple so here i can say that reflection of transfer wave From, I can say denser medium so here here is a denser medium like your rigid wall on this rigid wall suppose i am saying that it crust part of the transfer wave is incident crust part of the transfer wave means the particles are vibrating in the upward direction means velocity of the particles are in the upward direction and wave velocity wave is propagating towards the rigid wall so direction of wave velocity is towards the rigid wall and particles are vibrating up so particle velocity is in the upward direction so this i am going to call it as a incident wave this incident wave will get incident on this rigid wall and progressive wave always possesses the energy so when it is incident on the rigid wall it will gives out its all energy to the rigid wall or denser medium but denser medium is not able to accept the energy so all that energy will get rebound why denser medium is not accepting energy because the particles are not ready to vibrate as they are not ready to vibrate that all energy will get rebound and during rebounding your particle velocity and wave velocity both will get reversed means in incident wave particle velocity is upward in rebounding in reflection particle velocity is downward in incident wave wave velocity is towards the rigid wall during reflection wave velocity is away from the rigid wall and now this wave will represent as your reflected 
So in refracted wave, we have particle velocity and wave velocity. Both will get reversed. Thrust will be reflected as a drop. Thrust will be reflected as a drop means what? There is a change of phase. Here phase angle is what? From 0 to 180. And here angle is from 180 to 360. Means there is a change of phase angle. How much change of phase angle? 180. And that is to be called as the reflection of transfer phase from the so whenever your transfer wave will get reflected from the denser medium, at that time, thrust will be reflected as a drop or vice versa. That is, if drop is incident, then it will get reflected as a thrust. And therefore, there is a phase angle change of 180. This is one thing. And second thing, when Transfer wave will get reflected from the denser medium. For incident wave, particle velocity and wave velocities are perpendicular. They will get both reversed. And in reflected wave also, I am getting particle velocity and wave velocity, they are again But only their directions are become exactly. And this is to be called as your reflection of transfer wave from the denser medium. Getting any doubt here? Clear? Okay. Now, suppose I am saying that instead of denser medium, I am going to select a medium as a rarer medium. So, in this rarer medium, when your transfer rate is incident here, on this rarer medium, rarer medium is what? The particles of the medium are ready to accept energy. So all energy will be accepted by the particles of the error medium. So your wave velocity will get continued. They will get continued its motion in the error medium. So what happens in the reflection? Your thrust will just get reflected as a thrust. Like your type waves. Incident wave is incident on your surface here. And it will get reflected. So your thrust will be reflected as a thrust. Means particle velocity will remain same. Only the wave velocity will get. Means thrust will be reflected as a thrust. When it will get reflected from the rarer medium. Means there is no change of phase. So there will be no change of phase. When your transfer wave will get reflected from the rarer Clear? Yeah. So this is about your reflection of transfer wave from denser medium and rarer medium. So you have to remember that two points carefully. That is, whenever transfer wave is reflected from denser medium, thrust will be reflected as a thrust or vice versa. And when transfer wave is reflected from the rarer medium, thrust will be reflected as a thrust or drop will be reflected as a Fine. Actually, this portion is deleted from your slabs. But in this same chapter, whenever we are going to see the modes of vibration, of strain or tube, in that case, you require this information. That's why, in short, I have taken this research. So only two things you have to remember. In transfer wave, from denser medium, thrust will be reflected as a thrust. And from rarer medium, thrust will be reflected as a thrust. And for longitudinal wave, we can see in the 